Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, January 31st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple quick clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will still be moving because the market is still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is open still for a small amount because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol M-A-R-K. And what a monster move this thing has had. So start off the day, not much going on. And then you can see down here, volume kicked it into a whole nother gear. And in some senses, the price is essentially gone straight up. And that's really the main dynamic here to focus on uh, because, I mean, I suppose I could call this area right here a little bit of a breakout point. So if you want to play a breakout, uh, and I'm not saying that's wrong, but the main dynamic here and the whole idea of a watch list is to find unique and interesting situations and not you know rush out and start randomly buying, but at least watch them. So the question really becomes, do you find this sort of situation unique? Do you find it interesting where you'd want to keep an eye on it? And I think a lot of people, especially if you like this price range, well, of course, Clay, volume is pouring in, price action is fantastic. So yeah, from that angle, and based on those merits alone, worth keeping an eye on. Now, if you do like to play more so pullbacks, then a level right there to potentially keep an eye on, on a, any sort of pullback would be right down there around the 80 cent mark. So that could be interesting if this thing does decide to pull back a bit more. But as of right now, basically in the middle of a breakout, and while I don't have a whole lot to say in terms of, okay, look at this pattern or that pattern, uh, because right now the pattern is basically huge volume straight up. So if you find this sort of situation interesting, if you like this price range, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol SOFI and a dirty, dirty dog this one was today. How so? Well, yesterday I drew in this pattern here, nice pattern, and you can see opening 30 minutes, price actually broke through the pattern right there. And then that candle started to get green, started to look like a breakout was underway. And then just like that, look at that 30 minute session right there. The brakes were slammed down, down it went. And then now it's not only gone down to the bottom of the pattern, but it's broken to the downside of that entire pattern. So from, you know, starting off as a breakout to now behaving like it did, truly a nasty, dirty dog. But that's just sometimes the life of a trader there in terms of what happened. Now, in terms of Newest levels of support to keep an eye on moving forward. It's all about that purple line there, which on my chart represents a very well-known, the very famous 50 period moving average. And the price is definitely within striking distance of that. So from just an overall health perspective too, assuming you're bullish, then yeah, you would want to see the price maintain above that level uh, if it pulls back a little bit more. In terms of areas of resistance, if there's any sort of attempted bounce back upwards, then the near term right now, key area of resistance is going to be right there around the $8.60 mark. But yeah, overall today, a nasty, dirty dog move. Next one here, TSLA Tesla, and the upwards trend right now continues. You can see here after having found some lows right there, put in lows right there, lows right there, and then today those lows right there. So if you envision each of these as stair steps, you can still see that overall the stair steps are progressing in the upwards direction. Now I do realize that a little bit of perspective, if you're some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within you know, seven minutes, well then yes. From that standpoint, the chart's looking pretty rough because there was a pullback. But overall, uh, the, the price is still building those higher bases, and that's what matters most. And right now, I think the, the best way to you know just gauge this in terms of the health of the current movement is just to watch that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, which if you look closely enough, you can see it has actually stopped going down and is now going sideways and slightly beginning to curl back upwards. So as this thing curls back upwards and essentially instead of a downtrending trend line because it becomes an uptrending trend line, well, then assuming you're bullish, by definition, you, you would want to see the price stay above an uptrending trend line. So keep an eye on that level right there as it starts to curl back upwards as the main area of support. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that level as it's in that level down too, if they serve their purpose. In terms of areas of resistance, nothing fancy or complicated here. Literally just a question of where did the party and momentum stop today? And that was right up there at 196.50. So keep an eye on that. But at the core, what matters most is what the prices continue to do. And that is building those higher lows. Next one, ticker symbol PHUN, and what started off as a very rough uh, beginning of the day, gap down, and then look at that opening 30 minutes, red candle all the way down here, and then the second 30 minute candle right there, boom, up it went, has pulled back a little bit, but never returned to those lows. So, so far so good, the level that I talked about previously, that 27 cent mark is indeed holding as support. Failed this morning, but as already illustrated, uh, you know, recovered and is now, you know, hasn't even been tested. But moving forward, you're gonna wanna continue to watch that 27 cent mark 
as that initial area of support. If the price does not hold above there and breaks below it, next key level you do wanna watch is that upsloping pink line down there, which on my chart represents the 200 period moving average. In terms of levels of resistance, nothing new here to report. Previously, I talked about keeping on that purple line, the per 50 period moving average. You can see exactly why I mentioned that right there acted as resistance. And yes, last 30 minutes here, nice little candle here starting to form, but it's still all about the main question right there moving into Wednesday and is, you know, can the price not necessarily test that level, can, but can it break above it and then uh, stay up above it? So keep an eye on that dynamic there. But overall, from a rough start, uh, all things considered, had a good day. Next one here, AMC and a very, very dirty dog move on this one. Going back to the final 30 minutes of Monday, price came up here, broke through that level, looking like it was the start of a breakout. And then this morning, you can see right there, price gap down all the way and then dropped, dead cat bounce and it's now rolled back over. So at this point, instead of talking about potentially breaking, let me, oh, yeah, there we go. So I've been talking about this sideways channel for quite a while, but as I was just remarking, in terms of the conversation changing just like that, the conversation went from, all right, here's the start of a breakout to the upside to, uh-oh, now the price is down at the bottom of this channel and nearing it. Is the bottom of the channel gonna hold strong or is this thing about to break to the downside? Now, to be fair, I mean, there's no guarantee. So the price could very well come down here and then bounce back up. And because that's essentially all that has happened now is the price came up, tested the top of the channel, although made it look like it wanted to break out and it's now going back down. So the question just seems to be, will the bottom of the channel uh, get tested? And then main question, is it gonna be able to hold or not? But as of right now, AMC is just staying within that sideways channel, top of the channel being 425, bottom of the channel being down there at 404. Real quick, want to take a break in person, invite you to get signed up for this free live online web class that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free webinar. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box you can uh, use to get signed up. Or if you're watching it right at my site, there's an area on the webpage there that you can use to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free webinar. Next one here, ticker symbol LCID, and talked about this one in yesterday's video, and you can see right here, this morning came up, got the breakout of that level during that opening 30 minutes, which was a pretty crazy opening 30 minutes, and has now got that much more continuation, and has pulled back here a little bit, which brings about a first key update, and that is when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And that's gonna look like gonna be a potential um, test here, is, is this level gonna hold as support on the back test, which uh, no guarantees, but I don't think that would shock anybody. And yes, the price has pulled back, so there's no doubt about that. There has been this downwards channel that's foreign, but part of that, assuming you care about the bigger picture, is okay, yeah, fair enough, there's a little bit of a downwards channel here, but what was happening before the downwards channel? And you would say, well, there's this big move just like that, which is now giving me the ability to draw a bull flag pattern. So overall, it may seem bad. Again, if you're some sort of day trader and you bought right there, wanted to buy and sell within two minutes, then yes, from that angle, the chart looks terrible. But assuming you care about the bigger picture, as you just saw, it's a bull flag pattern. Next one here, ticker symbol PXLW. And what had been a nice pattern that had formed right there, a, a very, very nice bull pennant. You can see that the bull pennant has fallen apart with the break to the downside. And now the momentum has picked up but that still brings about a potential interesting situations if you like to play these, because it is still overall a gap up. Um, so if you like to play these situations and you have these moving averages with upward slopes to it, but you have all these dynamics, but you're getting a bigger pullback, then you could very well get, it's not guaranteed as I've said a million times, but is it valid to think that you could get some sort of bounce off of that 50 period moving average? That is certainly a, a valid scenario. So if you like to play these things where you get a pattern that is in a bullish context, but then you get some sort of, and maybe you're arguing, I think this is, I think this is overdone. I think this is just people that are panicking out that shouldn't be. Well, then you know what? Maybe you'll get some nice little technical bounce down there at the 50 period moving average. So it goes back to that first comment about the whole idea of watch list. So if you find this sort of situation unique, you find this sort of situation valuable and interested and you like this price range, certainly keep an eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol NIO. And what was looking like maybe some sort of bounce and momentum getting underway. Uh, this just turned to be a dead cat bounce. What gives me the right to say that? Well, let's look at where the lows were previously before that bounce occurred. They're right there at 583. So you go back here and you can see 583 is where those lows were at before the bounce started. Now you look at where the price is currently at and it's actually slightly below that area. So in other words, there is a nice bounce and then the price has gone right back to where it was. Not exactly a sign of genuine power. So moving forward, no, this is now gonna be a key area of support. I'm still gonna consider this 583 market level of support. 
Yes, it is technically slightly below it, but supports have a range element associated to it. So I would certainly still, you know, uh, consider this within the range of that level. So keep an eye on that. But if the price does break below there, then that's going to be putting the price down at lows. Uh, in fact, I, I guess I don't know this for sure, but it might be all time lows if this area of support cannot hold. Uh, in terms of these levels, I'm just going to get rid of them as they've served their purpose for now. If there is any sort of bounce in the upwards direction, uh, then the you know the main level to watch will be that purple line right there, which you now know is that 50 period moving average. But yeah, knocking on the door of potentially breaking to even further, uh, you know, lows. So keep an eye on that, and we'll see if the bears are about to get a whole nother round of momentum or not. Next one here, ticker symbol AMD, and this one has finally started to look human a little bit. Now, granted, all things considered, as you see here, still very, very much so in an overall uptrend. But keep that in mind from a broader standpoint. Going to go ahead and just get rid of that level as it served its purpose for now. Uh, but in terms of near-term levels of support, main level to watch will be this gap close location right here at about 168.75. If you go back here, you can see there was this little space right here. So I could see it come. Whoop, I guess you can't see it because it's behind my ugly mug. There we go. So if the price comes down there, you know, that is a little bit of a space on the screen. So keep an eye on 168.75 is that initial area of support. Got pretty close to touching it right there. Uh, but if the price does go down there and does not hold above there, uh, then at that point, I don't think it's irreasonable to think that the price could very well be headed down to two, uh, to test that uh, 200 period moving average. It does have a good solid upward slope to it, which is always good to see. So keep an eye on that. And then as far as areas of resistance, nothing fancy here. And this is a good example of why it's worth keeping an eye on that purple line there as resistance. Because check it out. Price broke below it, then acted as resistance, then acted as resistance. And then you can see right here, acted as resistance. You get the idea, resistance, resistance. So I'm not saying that purple line can't be broken. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price is struggling when it gets up around that area. So definitely want to keep a close eye on it. Next one here, ticker symbol TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to go up, this one will also go up. And uh, had a rough day today, gapped down, and then just kind of drifted lower and lower. Now, it's not like anything uh, was destructive or anything like that. But what I do want to do here is get... Uh, uh, Treadline line support here put into play because it's looking like this thing could start to carry some significance moving forward here as you look back through the history of things did a good job with all these areas right here and then you look right there generally speaking held strong there so if the price were to come down there and break through that level uh, in my opinion i think that break of the tread line right there could generate some uh, continued bearishness now i don't mean that that means that the nasdaq market as a whole is going to crash but just from a technical standpoint i could see that you know creating additional uh, downside buying or excuse me selling pressure and creating that much more of a pullback within the overall market but again that doesn't mean that i'm not saying that tread line means that the entire market's going to crash or anything like that and then yeah you guess it as far as areas of resistance right here that purple line check it out acting as resistance and then this afternoon once again pushing the price back down so keep an eye on that uh and then if the, i'm going to use this but if that purple line is uh broken through Next key area of resistance to keep an eye on right up there at about 56.50. So overall today, not the greatest day, but that tread line is continuing to hold strong. So we'll see if that remains the case or not moving forward. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then definitely go get signed up for that free online webinar in a couple of days. It'll be Thursday, February 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as the top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, tell me what you traded today, give me your watches for tomorrow. But those two things really help out and I really do appreciate it and thank you in advance. So go get signed up for that class, hit that like button, leave a, a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions.